Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade to Filmora 12. Okay, so today is December 9 and Wondershare is rolling out Filmora 12 for current user. Meaning that if you are using Filmora 11, they will ask you to upgrade to Filmora 12. But it is not free for all users. If you purchase Filmora 11 within 90 days from today, you are free to upgrade. For other users, you have to pay an extra money, uh, which is 29.99 US dollar, in order to upgrade to Filmora 12. Okay, so here's how you can upgrade to the latest version of the software. Alright, so now I'm inside Filmora 11, and this is my current version. Okay, we can go to here. So this is 11.7.13. And if I want to upgrade to Filmora 12, all I need to do is to go to have. And then we can click this option check for update and it will check your version and also ask you to upgrade to Filmora 12 okay and this is Filmora 12.0.6 which is the latest version with all the new feature here you can read here for example we have a switchable layout right here enhanced keyframe for your video effect and also color stuff like that and we have an adjustment layer where you can use to color grading your footage and we have a freehand mask with the raw mask and now we have also the AI audio straight and AI smart cut out which is a tool for you to remove the video background okay so I cover all the new feature of Filmora 12 in my previous video it is better but now the official version is exactly the same and added to that you can also create a 3d title with the new version okay and now i'm going to install it and i will show you all the new feature again all right all right so this is my female trial okay so you see that i create some project with the software and i don't find any problem with the performance so if you want to upgrade to this latest version just try it okay so let's create a new project right here and the first new feature in Filmora 12 is about the layout. So now we are able to switch the layout. For example, this is a default and this is a classic one. Normally, I would select the classic one because it is similar to my Filmora 11. Otherwise, if you want to select the default, it is also okay. And if you want to create short video, you can select this layout. Okay, just click here and it will change the layout for you. But uh, normally, I would select the classic one. So that is the first new feature in Filmora 12. And the second new feature in Filmora 12 is about the folder right here. So they rearrange this folder, this important folder. For example, here at the media folder, they move some subfolder inside the media folder to stock media. Now you cannot find the sample color, green screen or sample video or stuff like that inside here. Now they move it to stock media. If you want to find them, just go to stock media and then click here, film stock. And you see here, uh, they have solid color and gradient color and green screen video and motion graphic and also footage. So we have some sample video. Okay. And I have no idea why they just move this thing from media to stock media. All right. And the next chain is the sticker. Normally it is element, but now it is sticker. If you want to find some sticker, some overlay or stuff like that. Now you have to go to sticker folder right here. And here's the split screen, but now it is template. Okay, so when you click at the template, you can also find the split screen right here, but now it is not the split screen anymore. Okay, and here at the template, you have some blog, a travel video, and stuff like that. You can use this template for your project also. So that is the second chance in Filmora Trail, and there are some smaller chance in the timeline also. Uh, for example, if I select a video, just run and drop it onto the timeline. And now you will see that the shape of the object on the timeline is different. It is rounded shape instead of square shape like Fibra 11. Okay. And another thing is about the adjustment layer. If you want to use the adjustment layer for color grading, all you need to do is to go to media and now you can find the adjustment layer right here. Just select it and then go to preset and drag and drop your adjustment layer on the timeline. Okay. And now you can double click at the adjustment layer, go to color. And now you can do the color correction for all of your clip with the adjustment layer. Okay. For example, I can increase the temperature of the video like this and let's click. Okay. And here, very nice, right? And another interesting new feature in Filmora 12 is about the draw mask. If you want to draw a mask around your subject, all you need to do is 
to double click at the video or the timeline and now select mask and now you have a pen tool here or the draw mask you can click here and then draw a mask around your subject easily okay very interesting right that is an interesting new feature of Fimura Trail okay so let's click okay and another thing is about the audio now they have audio straight tool right here for example let's select audio and let's try and drop this music onto the timeline okay and this is the background music right here's the end of the background music and now if you want to stretch out the background music all you need to do is to click this option audio stretch just click here and then you can click at the music file here and then you can just click here and drag it to the right to extend the background music that is very interesting right and now your music file is longer okay and another interesting new feature of Fimura Trail is the ability to remove the background of your video without green screen for example I have a video here on the timeline and if I want to remove the background all I need to do is to double click at the video and then select this option AI tools just select here and then we can use AI portrait or smart cut out and being mentioned that these features are free to use now including the AI portrait for example you can just turn it on and it will remove the background of your video without green screen and you can adjust the egg thickness or stuff like that okay and egg feather okay and here's the effect very nice right and you can do the same with the smart cut out for example I can try and drop another video here on the timeline and I'm going to use this one so if I want to cut out me in the video and also this microphone, I can use the smart cut out option. Okay, just double click at the video and then go to AI tools and then turn on this option smart cut out. Okay, and click here to start. And now you can use the brush to draw around your body or stuff like that. And you can also draw around the microphone okay something like this and then you can click here to start smart cut out okay just click here Okay, so when the tracking is finished, you can play the video, preview it, and you can also select this option, toggle transparent read, just click here to see if it removes everything in your video, okay? And if you want to correct something like the hands or stuff like that, you can use the brush again, just to draw it, draw here okay and if you want you can also draw the chair also and it will add some keyframe for you right here and being mentioned that you can also adjust the egg thickness right here uh, for example i can increase or reduce and i can adjust the egg feather also okay and then you can click save to go back to your timeline just click here and now it is it's also removed the background of your video okay And another new feature in Filmora Trail is the ability to create a 3D title. For example, you can click here and select quick 3D text. Just click here to create a new one. And this is the new 3D title. Just double click. And you can also change it to something like Jackie. And stuff like that and select a 3D model right here. Just double click to select it. And then you can click OK. And this is your 3D title very nice right and finally is the new option in your export tab for example i can click the export tab right here and now you are able to export mp3 and wav also and for the export setting you can just click here at the setting with Fimura Trail, you are able to select a bitrate mode right here for example you can select variable bitrate or constant bitrate it is up to you okay so there's an option right here for example normally we will select constant bitrate and increase the bitrate to 20,000 okay 
and this is a normal setting when I export video but sometimes when I want to optimize my video size I can change from constant bitrate to variable bitrate okay just click here and then select variable bitrate and another new option in the export tab is about the compression quality so now if you want to compress the video to get a smaller size you can select here low or if you want to get a higher video quality you can select compression quality at high okay so then you can click apply and you can see that the size of the video increase so much right here all right so this is how you can upgrade to Filmora 12 and also an overview of all the new feature in the software and being mentioned that if you want to purchase Filmora 12 don't forget to use my 20% discount coupon code in the description to save your money all right so that's enough for today's video i hope this video is helpful for you if you have any more questions just let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video goodbye